Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to Aircraft Carrier Survival. So this game is a little bit like U-Boat, if you remember what U-Boat was guys, I did a video of that a while back, where you control like different parts of the, the submarine, but this is kind of something similar, but this is with an aircraft carrier obviously. Um, so this might be in a couple of uh, parts guys, so we'll just see how this goes, but... Sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately guys, um, I just, it's been a bit hectic at the minute, so uh, I'm just trying to, you know, kind of balance it if I can, um, but this game I've been really wanting to play for a while and it's recently just come out, so let's try it out, see how it goes, and uh, jump to some aircraft carrier survival. Sir, welcome to Pearl Harbor. The strike group will return here after every successful mission, in order to prepare for the next one. Upgrades for the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. Have a look through the different tabs, sir. Each one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. Alright, this is pretty cool. Um, so we've got crew, aircraft, carrier, the crew escort. The is the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. The amount of crew slots on the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. In the full version of the game, you will also be able to upgrade your officers and increase their numbers. Alright. So uh, increase our crew slots then. That doesn't seem as many people really this on this is aircraft your carrier. Power lies, sir. Or in this case, flies. These are the machines to be sent out into battle at your command, so do make sure they are well prepared. Here you can increase right. the amount of squadron slots available on your flight deck. This means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time. You can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. Alright then, let's increase our dive bomb and survivability. On this screen, you can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier, sir. If you wish, sir, you can give your aircraft carrier a name by which it will be remembered. Alright, it's going to be the USS Daily. Why not? <laughs> there is strength in numbers, so even a powerful ship such as your aircraft carrier does not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort, similarly to ship upgrades. Your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics, shown up here. You can upgrade right, your escort cool. size here. It will let you add more vessels to your strike group, sir. This is a list of all the ships currently in your escort. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each ship provides a different bonus. So do use your expertise, sir. Alright, so we do have a supply ship, escort carrier, and cargo ship. Like cruiser, um, and then we're cruising and destroying the submarine. The thing is, we haven't really got much defense here. I think, in case we run into some sort of battleship or some sort of Japanese uh, battle group, we need to be pretty defended. And the, the kind of escort that we've got at the minute is only supply um, a supply ship, a cargo ship, and an extra carrier. I think we might take out a cruiser. Okay, so we've got a submarine, a destroyer, light cruiser, a cruiser. I think we're gonna do that. I wonder when the full because this game's only just in like the the starter phase, so it's not the full game yet. So I'm wondering if they'll bring out the like maybe more ships, like a battleship or something. All right, Coral Sea aftermath. Let's do it, guys. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed. The enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. We can count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Alright everyone, welcome to the USS Daily. Oh my god man, look at this thing. This looks actually pretty awesome. Alright, let's see what we've got to go with then. Um, I wonder what aircraft we have. 
Uh, I wonder if it's FOFs or like Dauntlesses or Dive Bombers, something like that because I'm sure those are Navy aircraft. I'm not too sure when this is based though, so I don't know what aircraft we will have. This is cool, so this is actually like a, Ready, I, I, I believe this is called the island. Um, in the camera view, yeah, and you can actually use officers for different roles. As you can see, you can, um, there's like di different areas provide different abilities. At the minute, we've only got three officers though, so that's not great. Um, obviously, I think it's said in the full game, you do get that add more officers and all that kind of stuff, but at the minute, we're just gonna have to make do what we've got here. Roger that. Alright, let's have a look around. What have we got? Update web information, you can do that, I guess. Okay, so this is where it kind of goes in with U boat. This is pretty awesome. You can actually see the inside of the carrier. Uh, it's just like different positions. Uh, there's the main hangar above us there. Uh, I think that's our damage control team in the center. That's, I like that. That's pretty awesome. Alright, okay, so, unknown, unknown object there. So our objective is to prevent the Japanese invasion of Port Mosley, I believe. Um, so let's start sending some waypoints for our carrier to follow. I'll we'll just head up there. And um, I think I might try and deploy some aircraft for maybe some recon. Uh, let's get the, the ship going a little bit. Okay, so we've got 47 hours, I believe, before the invasion happens. So we've got a bit of time. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's get some aircraft up then. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Okay, we'll get rid of that. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's so cool. They're like popping up from the um, the hangar down below there. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. I think they look like... I don't know. I don't think they're F4Fs actually. It might be like F2F, so I'm not too sure. Um, they seem to be more earlier on. They don't look like F4F, so I'm Visual sure those are bigger, deck. but I'm not too sure. Do some scouting, maybe. Uh, we could do some recon as well. I think the scouting provides us kind of extra intelligence around the carrier. So in case we come across any kind of big battle cruisers, we need to be careful. Okay, there's something over here. I'm pretty curious what that is. And then we'll uh, let them link up maybe over here because that's the direction we're heading. Confirm. Nice. Start engines. Oh, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, okay. They're doing a. See if they cancel that. Basically, the difference between, I think, scouting and recon is the scouting pot is kind of stay near your submarine. I mean, submarine. <laughs> oh my god. Your carrier. That's a big submarine. Uh, the stay near your carrier, off the go though, and um, just basically increase your visibility. Uh, I think the recon though, you can deploy it in different places on the tactical map to see where we're going. That's pretty awesome. Let's just see how they take off. Oh, there they go. I thought he wasn't going to make it there. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Our scouts feels controlling the area. Oh, the strike group. Awesome. Yeah, we'll keep heading that way there. Improve visibility. Do that. New enemy found. Torpedo boat destroys and light cruisers. Oh dear. That's very close to our carrier fleet as well. Uh, we need to do an attack. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. We need to issue those orders though, where are you, where's yes, my sir. general? Alright, we need to issue some sort of mission. Okay, let's do that. Prepare airstrike, that's what we want. Okay, we need to, what, what, what do we need to attack? Uh, we'll go for the destroyers, maybe? Um, our torpedo boats, what should we go for? I think the light cruisers might be more, but I don't know the torpedo boats could be an issue too. Really, they're all aren't going to be an issue, but we're going to have to go for one of them. Alright, we'll go for different runs, and then we'll try and improve our defense. Uh, 
let's check the other one. That one's better. It's 55 attack. Um, Alright, let's do it. And then we'll rendezvous over here. Uh, let's confirm that. Nice. Oh, what do we even need? What do we need to do the attack? What aircraft do we need? Where is it? Okay, so we need three dive bombers, I believe, and three torpedo bombers. Technical map updated. Alright, okay, we need to really hurry up and take out this fleet because they're going to be a bit of an issue. Yep, we'll do that. Torpedoes. Torpedo bombers, there we go. Okay, we're going to have to wait until they're all loaded up, but... That attack fleet looks like it's going to be kind of on an attack course, so we need to hurry up and take that out. Right, let's try and hurry up and get all these um, aircraft up. I think we need to improve our defense for the carrier as well, because it's only on three at the minute. I think normally to do that, you have to do some sort of... Um, to add like some sort of patrol, some aircraft patrol, I'm not too sure. Let's get everything sorted. Let's just skip this bit. Alright, we need another torpedo bomber squadron and then we should be good for our assault. Location is hidden from enemy. Alright, nice. That's good. Fuel is at 69%, I think. The uh, oil, I'm not too sure. We do have a supply ship though. So if we do need to supply, you know, on supplies and stuff, we can do that, I believe. Alright, they're moving up there. And then we'll launch the attack. Hopefully it will go well. Stand by to start engine. Alright, nice one. Let's just watch the, the attack go. I hope we don't get attacked right now because we've got a lot of aircraft on our on our deck here and if something goes wrong it's not gonna go well so I wonder if I'll kind of like you know the battle of Midway and all that kind of to this campaign because I'm sure there's only one mission at the minute because it's like a, like a you know just like a beta mission uh, the full game isn't actually out yet uh, which is a shame because I would like to play more of this but there's only one mission and then I think there's like a sandbox thing so if you want us to kind of you know play like more of this in like a sandbox way I can That's the same objective. There they go, lads. There goes our attack group. Beautiful. I love how they're just like whoop 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 and just pushing the aircraft all over the place. Um, we do have radar, surprisingly. I didn't think these had meant well back in this era. They had great radar, you know, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, islands. I love this, guys, how you can just, like, flick through things. Just look at what's going on. on our way. Okay, let's go damage control team over at the water pumps, just in case we start getting, you know, in case we get, like, torpedo run and have, like, water leaks and that. And then we'll have one DC team over at the engineering area. What well, basically the two sides do, guys, is one basically uh, when you have one DC at the pump area that pumps out and you know water that gets into the um, the carrier. In the mechanical area, just prevents you know hazards occurring on the ship, like you know fires and mechanical issues and that, which is pretty interesting. Yes, that's daily. Go on, lads. Alright, our main attack group is away. It's uh all we need in the even that was just wait. We've got a scouting group. Yeah, the scouting group's coming back to land. Oh, there they are. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, they're still kind of on an interception course. We... A section below deck is malfunctioned. Oh Send dear. DC teams now. 
Okay, damage control. Where, where's the issue? Okay, so it's down there to the bottom right. So, a crew unit needs help in case someone's injured as well. Oh, God. This is what you have to go with, guys. You have, like, all these kind of issues, and you have to, like, kind of manage everything. Oh, it's straight below. That's good. Yes, sir. That's straight below us, anyway. So, if you guys, you can hear kind of snoring in the Negative. background. It's not me. <laughs> It's uh, my dogs in the background, they're just snowing their heads off. Well, uh, we try and stop a Japanese invasion of the United States. My dogs are currently just snoring in the background. Awaiting orders. On our way. Helping him. Oh, there they are. The four all squadrons you set, but heavy damage that destroyed. Your squadron destroyed all the enemy ships. Oh, that's interesting. We lost our torpedo bombers and our dive bombers, I believe. Let's see what happened. Nice hit. Oh, beautiful. That's a shame, but we've managed to, I think, destroy that whole. Yep, it's gone. Nice work. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Because I don't think our carrier will really do well in a, a massive engagement. So we need to be, <laughs> we need to be careful for that. Uh, I think you only get a limited amount of aircraft. Command, so, do you know when you do missions and stuff, you only have like a certain amount of aircraft and you <laughs> all of them get destroyed. And you're pretty much knackered, which I guess is you know, realistic. I love how there's like just aircraft in the hangar, like hanging from like the roof, looks like some are getting repaired. It's pretty awesome. Okay, now I get to move into position where we can then do a combat air patrol that will allow us to build our defenses for our carrier, yeah, we'll do that uh, how are you guys doing down there? are you repairing that section? I think you are that's good uh, let's have a look, what have we got left? okay our fighters are moving in for our, kind of, so basically the combat air patrol I believe um, just basically adds more defense to your, to your carrier because it's only a three out of the minute so we need to improve that. And it looks like we have enemy recon over our carrier so we need to sort that out. Let's get some more fighters. We need to take that recon plane out. It's going to give away our position and that is not great. And I think I believe until you take out this recon plane it stays with you forever, um, which is annoying. We go if you flak if something could open up on it, but it doesn't Visual happen. Fighter squadron on the deck. It's a recon flight. Right, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, we got fighters moving them. Let's just Visual try and skip this up so we can take out deck. this recon group. Uh, that's a look. Yep, launch. Start engine. Nice one. Okay, so you guys can see our defense has now gone up to five. That is because we have an air patrol. Unfortunately, they don't actually deal with recon. I think that they only deal with attacks. Um, you know, so any aircraft attacks and stuff, I believe. I've, I've seen a little bit. I, I looked a little bit at the tutorial at the start as well. Um, I think that does that, and then you have to do missions separately to take up other things. Like um, I believe you do get attacked by subs and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty interesting how this goes. All right, nice. Our aircraft are launching. That's pretty good to see. I love how you've got like, your supply ships in the background and then just other bits and pieces. I'm looking forward to see how this actual full game gets released. Because I actually enjoy the mechanics of this, and I love stuff like this, you know, like survival games and management stuff and that. It's pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys, back in the day, there was a game called Battle Stations Pacific and Battle Stations Midway. I, that game really got me into kind of playing War Thunder kind of theme games and that. Um, if you haven't played that, guys, I really recommend it. I mean, they are pretty old games, 
but I'm sure you can find mods that improve the graphics and stuff, but it's definitely a worth the you know, definitely a worth to play. I would definitely say Battle Station specific is a lot better because that was brought out a little bit later. Um, but there's like two missions where you can play as the, the Japanese Navy and the American Navy and like basically change history and all that. It's pretty awesome. I definitely do like stuff like this and like you know Hearts of Wine and all that. But down in the comments guys, uh, if you what kind of strategy what like you know World War based games that you like. Um, definitely pretty interesting to hear all your opinions and stuff. Alright, yep, my dog's just currently snoring in the background there. Uh, we have 40 seconds until the recon um, aircraft gets destroyed. So go map updated. Okay, let's have a look. I just disappeared there. No, nope, we're still on course. Looks pretty good. Alright. Alright, guys, so I think we're gonna. I like this here. I was gonna quickly show you this. You can, you know, when you boost different like departments up. So we've got medical department, engineering, deck and damage control, which I'm gonna actually boost that up a bit. Um, the air department, navigation department. So basically, I think when you get more crew, you can fill more, you know, more those slots and stuff. Um, we've got 25 seconds to see if we can take out this recon group. So we'll do that. And I believe this is our attack group. You know, what we took out those. Japanese fleets from earlier. Uh, I think that's our attack group arriving. It's really awesome, guys. Look at the section view here. That's so cool. You can actually see the aircraft going back into the hangar. So there's the, the top of the aircraft here, and they'll come down this um, little elevator. That's awesome. I love that. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Just as I said before. Yep, there it is. A sub. A Japanese sub. We're gonna sort that out. We're gonna be in a lot and lot of trouble if we don't sort that out. How long we got? We got five hours, so we can get a bit of time. Uh, we need two dive bombers apparently though to take out a Jap sub. So we'll quickly do that. All right, let's begin the hunt for that submarine. We've got our dive bombers coming up here. All right, we've got some more dive bombers. All right, nice one. So we'll try and take out that. Jap sub now. Still making good time. We got 39 hours until the Japanese invasion of Port Mosley. So we need to really take out, off, I believe, it, you know, just like a big fleet before they successfully do that. Okay, off they go. Good luck, lads. We're depending on you because if we get torpedoed, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take 56 seconds uh, until we do that, and it looks it's very, very close that job. So, issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Let's get some more fighter planes, and we could uh, use that as cover. Maybe we need to get more planes out. Better be safe than sorry, I guess. It'd be good if we can kind of upgrade these planes in the future, you know, like just have like F FOUs and um, super cor like Corsairs and all that kind of stuff like that. It'd be good if you can uh, start getting that a little bit later on, but I think this is kind of like early in the war. Like maybe like a couple of months after Pearl Harbor, uh, you know, like the destruction of the Japanese attack on Pearl. Uh, do some recon maybe over here. Alright, nice. And then arrive, uh, where can you arrive? Around here. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. I would say it in the square. Oh, man, I keep clicking the objective button. How about here? Yeah, we'll do that. Do some recon. Send the recon squadron out and launch it. Oh good, nice. The submarine has been destroyed. Okay, that's one threat we don't really need to worry about. Stand Launch by, recon. Alright guys, well we're gonna end the video here. Uh, if you want to see more of aircraft carrier survival, I can bring out more guys and then we can continue the mission because it's a pretty pretty long mission, as you can see. 
Uh, but if you want to see more, I will definitely do that, guys. But thanks for watching. Take care and uh, stay awesome.